In the middle of the Indian Ocean lies the world's largest coral atoll. The Chagos Archipelago. The preservation of these fragments of paradise lies at the heart of the race to save the sea. Chagos is an incredible place for um, researchers such as myself. It's one of the few coral reef systems in the world that's completely insulated from the human influences that all the other reefs of the world suffer from. Chagos. The world's largest no-take marine protected area was created in 2010 after years of lobbying by conservation groups in a partnership between the UK government, the Bertarelli Foundation and the Blue Marine Foundation. The reserve is twice the size of the UK, with 57 of 58 islands entirely unpopulated since being controversially evacuated in the 1960s. They're globally important seabird breeding grounds and home to an endangered crab which grows up to three feet across and can crack open a coconut with its pincers. Yet the real wonders of Chagos lie beneath the waves, which remain 97% unexplored. We're just getting ready to do what, to my knowledge, is the first dive ever on Blenheim Reef, uh, just north of Salomon Atoll. So, I mean, this is really what this trip is all about. We're exploring some of the places that have never been touched before and really finding out what Chagos has got, discovering some of its secrets, hopefully. Without human pressure, the Chagos Reef is far more resilient to natural threats, like increases in sea temperature and storm damage. There's evidence of coral bleaching, there's evidence of a lot of storm damage, but in every case, the reef's immune system, if you like, is responding to that. This gives us hope that if we can diminish human pressures on coral reefs, then perhaps they will heal naturally. The surrounding Indian Ocean, home to two billion people, is an ecosystem in crisis. Illegal and unregulated fishing equipment can be found inside the reserve. As the surrounding ocean empties, this pressure on Chagos will only increase. Effective enforcement by patrol vessels is critical. Deploying tags and receivers, the 2013 science expedition studied how top predators move within the surrounding ocean. This is key to understanding the value of marine reserves. The 
reason we're tagging sharks is generally speaking, the health of the reef is judged by the amount of biodiversity from the apex predators, so the sharks, the tunas. So the more sharks that a reef has, generally, the healthier the reef system is. Okay, we're inserting a spot location tag. So this tag's gonna show us in real time where the shark is. So every time the shark comes to the surface, it's gonna transmit to the satellite and show us exactly where he is uh, within the marine protected area or outside the marine protected area. Okay. Yeah. Chagos is a milestone in marine conservation, and there remains enormous potential for scientific discovery and learning here. The reserve can be a reference site for everyone to work on, to understand the issues that affect all reef systems. In Chagos, we see a vision of how the undersea world used to be. Here, we can dream of how the ocean should be again. Marine conservation is important. It is now that we have to act. It is now that we have to start understanding that time has come to pay as much attention to the sea and the ocean as we've had on land. Now is the time to save the ocean.